हे गाइस दिस इज नेहा फ्रॉम वेब स्टैक वेलकम टू द ब्रांड न्यू सीरीज ऑन नोट जे एस सो यू माइट बी वंडरिंग व्हाई एम आई स्टार्टिंग दिस न्यू सीरीज इन द मिडल ऑफ जावा स्क्रिप्ट सो मोस्ट ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स हैव रिक्वेस्टेड फॉर द वीडियोस ऑन नोट जे एस सो दैट इज व्हाई आई डिसाइडेड टू क्रिएट अ सीरीज ऑन नोट जे एस बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट वी विल नॉट स्टडी जावा स्क्रिप्ट I promise you guys that I will be creating one video every week for JavaScript series as well. So this course is for the beginners who wants to learn Node.js and also it covers all the advanced concepts. So let's check out what is there in this series for you guys. So let's get started. For starting the video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to Webstack and hit the bell to get all the notifications so let's check about the prerequisites which is required before learning this node.js first of all you must be knowing the javascript basic syntax some conditionals if else and all that stuff so if you are not aware of those things I will provide the link in the description box below. You can watch the JavaScript series where I have discussed some basic syntaxes of loops, if else, ternary operators and so on. The next thing which is required for this prerequisite it is you should be familiar with the command line interface and you must know some of the commands so you should be little familiar about that command line you must also be aware of some terms that we use in database like tables columns rows etc etc so as a computer science student you might be knowing it so let's just look out on all the points which we will be covering in this course and what are you going to get from this course so the first thing is you have to learn about the basics of node so we will do the getting started part of node js and then after that we will do some installation of node and we will learn uh, what are the different npm commands we have and all those things then we will have a es6 refresher so i will be creating this es6 refresher which will contain advanced concepts in javascript and es6 configurations as well and after that we will study about the working of node which we will be covering in node basics so after going through the node basics we will be discussing some modules in node js which is really an important concept in node so there are ample amount of modules we are having like fs we have zlib buffer and so on after that we will be dealing with request and responses in node which is a crucial part in node js when you are creating the server of node and after going through the request and responses we will actually see how we can get the responses from the server in the form of view pages and we are going to see how we can render them on our view page and after that we have a framework in node js called express we will be going on and we are going to do hands on in every video tutorial of this series so after that i will be discussing about templating engines there are a lot of templating engines that we are having here and we will brief out on all the template engines we are having in node and after getting through all these views and basics of node then we will switch to the databases so in databases we will be using mongodb for now you can also use mysql so that is why i told you to have a familiarity of the concepts we use in databases so you must be knowing about sql queries also because it will help a lot in learning mongodb as well and then we will connect this mongodb with mongoose and then we will use the sessions and cookies uh, for authentication parts and validations we will be doing after that uh, whatever user is entering the value we need to validate them so that is required and after that we have file upload so how to upload files on the server so we will be doing that and the very important concept in node that is rest apis so we will be dealing with the apis all the crud operations we will be doing 
in Node.js with the help of Mongo. So after creating all the REST APIs, we have something called sockets. So this is actually used in your chat applications or you can say in your real time applications. So we will be looking out at sockets and will create a simple chat application for users and then we will actually deploy our project. So in this course, I will be creating a project. So this is pretty much it that we are going to learn in this Node.js series. And this will cover all the basics and some of the advanced parts in Node. So if you are having any topic in your mind, you can write it down in the comment section below and let me know what are the topics you want to learn in this series. So I'm super excited to have you guys on board in this course. So let's start with our first video with the introduction to Node and learn what is actually Node.js.